It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter anymore. It's only stages for a whore. Come on up, Owen. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 93. Um, yeah, my favorite number, by the way. Is 94. Ah. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. When I was in, um, before we get into it here, let me just tell a story. When I was in uh, 11th grade, um, there was one fella in our class who was quite the funny feller, I must say. Uh, his name was, uh, Michael, but he didn't smell, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't spell his name like, uh, like any other typical Michael. Uh, this Michael had a Y in his name and a K. Figure that out. <laughs> but anyway, he was, uh, he was quite the funny lad. So anyway, there was this one day... In social studies class, uh, our social studies teacher liked to read a book to the class at the, I don't know if it was at the end of every day or whatever, but he'd just read a little bit of, uh, we were reading The Kite Runner at the time, I believe, and I'm drinking tea, my tr- my mouth is dry, so we were, we were reading The Kite, while well, he was reading The Kite Runner to the class. <laughs> And there was this one moment where um, um, Michael, because our teacher let us eat in the classroom, so Michael pulls out a bag of Doritos and uh, a can of pop. <laughs> okay, and then as as the teacher begins to start reading, Michael pulls out the chips, and he's like, he slowly opens them. <laughs> <laughs> he took he purposely took a while to to let to make them open because it was funny all right and teacher's like hey come on michael he's like sorry a little bit of a pause teacher starts reading again right as he starts reading <laughs> and the teacher goes hey michael stop it <laughs> and michael's like i'm sorry i'm sorry and then and again, there's another pause. What the hell? I have the coffee on. Why isn't it working? So anyway, there's another pause. And then Michael again. He, uh, as soon as the teacher starts reading, Michael goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the teacher just loses his shit and kicks Michael out. It was fucking funny. It was quite funny. Anyway, I'm tired again. Was I tired last episode? Cannot remember. I'm not that tired. It's just, uh... Got that song stuck in my head. I'm not sure what song it is, to be honest. Um, my grandpa was a man. Here is today's episode list. Mm. 94 is my favorite number. We're not at 94 yet. We're at 93. Now, I've got plans for episode 100, but I don't know if I'm going to execute them. But I should, you know? Like, what's the why not, right? I got to do it. Got to do it. You got to screw it. If you're going to do it, you got to screw it. There's something I wanted to open up with, and now I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. I cannot. I 
dismembered. I dismembered. You see that Oliver licked my mouth. It's his favorite thing. What the fuck was I going to talk about? Uh, let's just let's just not think about it and just talk about stuff, okay? You're wasting my time. Why should I bother listening to your podcast if you're just going to sit there and think? This isn't time to think. This is time to stink. You got it? So stink. Where was I? Have some tea in my mug? Got a mug of tea? Ow, just hit my tooth. Ah! Tastes so good! So what happened in the news today? Yesterday? This past week? Well, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. He, he did some stuff. He he had a uh, what do you call it like a keynote speech or some shit about um, whoops about uh, about uh, what the fuck was it the goddamn Neuralink technology whoops didn't mean to do that who's Maya Musk Canadian South African model and dietitian. Also, the mother of Elon Musk. I just clicked an accidental link and opened up Elon Musk's mother's Wikipedia page. Her name's May Musk. She's been a model for 50 years, appearing on the covers of Time Magazine, New York Post, Asserted herself, earned fame by declaring she is a star in her own right. Jesus, Weasleys. So Elon Musk is Canadian and South African? Wait, she was born in Regina? I don't, I don't live that far from Regina. Well, let me tell you something. I'm never going to live in Saskatchewan. All right? Oh, who is this? Tall O'Reilly. Oh, that's his wife? Damn. Elon's got a nice looking wife. You want to see her? Doot, 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 doot. Well, she's not that. She's, she's, she's okay. She's not. Uh, yeah, she's not the greatest looking thing. <laughs> uh, what, what, who am I to say, right? I look like a fucking starfish on a, on a, on a washed up on the beach. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to do. Where is it? Neuralink. We're getting sidetracked here. I want to talk about Neuralink technology. What is Neuralink? Well, uh, I don't know that much about it. I'm not an expert or anything. Please don't tell me this is their website. Is this it? Because that is a horrible logo if it is. Speaking of logos, I'm getting a new... Or is it Nura? Is it Nuro or Nura? I'm getting a new logo. This is what I'm looking for. That's the logo I'm looking for. Yeah, 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 baby! Why doesn't it, the website has nothing? There's nothing on the website. You can watch the live stream or read the paper. So anyway, Elon Musk, which I should have fucking watched the live stream before I did this. Oh, 
Oh, wait. But Elon Muskenheimer, he says to himself, you know what? I want brain control. I want to control some brains, fellas. What is neural? You're asking yourself over and over. What the fuck is Neuralink? No, you're not because you already know. But if you don't know, imagine having a device implanted in your in your noggin that allows you to control other devices via Bluetooth using your noggin. No more cell phones. This is this is what we've imagined the future to be like. We've definitely uh, touched on this subject in uh, science fiction novels and movies and, and whatnot. But we never expected that it would actually come this soon. But like I've always been saying, and like Ray Kurzweil has always been saying, technology builds upon itself faster and faster. The more you make, the more you come. Right? That's what Stormy Daniels told me. Mmm. I love me some Jew tubes. Or tea, I mean. <sighs> bum, 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 ba, bum, bum. So. Hallelujah. I'm thinking I need to set this up differently, but we'll get to that some other day. See, I was gonna use this. I was gonna use Team Viewer, but then I said, "Nah, maybe I shouldn't." But now I'm thinking, "Yeah, maybe I should." So why don't I just set that up again right now? This podcast episode does not feel very smooth as they usually do, and that's probably because it is six in the morning. No, it's not. Just kidding. It is uh, fairly early. But not that early. Come on, you cocksucker! <laughs> uh, that's how I used to talk when I was a mechanic. Everything I did, I had to call it a cocksucker. So... Yes, I'm 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 going to I'm working I'm in the process of working with someone to to make me a new logo, a new logo and new intro and outro. Mm. I'm also still working on my website. Uh I'm using Squarespace. But the only problem I have is I don't have you know, I don't have merch. I don't have really anything other than my shitty album that I made and my YouTube page. I mean, I'm, I, I do have other things I could put on there, but I just... There's that. There's that aspect, and then there's also the aspect of... I don't know. I don't know... I'm not exactly sure how to go about uh, using Squarespace. I mean, I understand how it works, and it's easy, and it's much better than actually trying to make a website any other way, the traditional way, you know. But even though Squarespace makes it simple and easy, I still just don't know how to organize it or <laughs> what I should do. That's disgusting. Please stop that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm thinking I need a quick hoot to continue this conversation, so I'll be right back. I need to wake myself up or something, so I'll be right back. Excuse me, folks. Whoops. Oh, you moved the table, you fuck! Come on! Don't move the table. Hey, folks. Oh, shit. There's not a lot of room in here. I'll be right back. Be right back, Oliver. You stay here. Room 
service. Room service. So, I've made a decision, and that was not, uh, that was just CBD, that wasn't THC, it was ecstasy, just kidding, who, uh, you know, I made the decision, I told myself, I don't want to do the hoots on camera anymore and you know what when i started this podcast i told myself i want to involve weed in the podcast but i was hesitant to do it on camera so i told myself here's what i'll do i will just uh, take the hoot off camera and make sure the smoke enters the camera's vision like I just did, to make it uh, unique, funny, and let people know at the same time that I am doing something. And when I started this podcast, weed was l illegal at the time, so that was another reason not to do it on camera. And so, you know, now it is completely legal in my country, all across my country, but I still don't want to do it on camera. I've, I've made the decision. I'll do it on camera occasionally. Who knows what will happen. But as for now, uh, I'm also going to be working on, um, what's the word? Is it marketing or is it promotion? Probably promotion is a better word. I'm going to find some ways in which to promote my content now that I'm almost at episode 100. Now that I've got this baseline of videos under my belt, I can start promoting. Why do I do it this way? Well, here's why. Um, because if you simply, unless you have a high quality production content, um, you it's I don't think it's a good idea to just start making videos and promoting them at the same time. If you have nothing to back it up and no viewers or of any sort to back it up. If you're starting from scratch... Now, this could be completely wrong, but this is how I feel like it should be. If you're starting from scratch like I did with no viewers, and I'm not saying I'm completely starting from scratch because I do have some viewership, okay? One of my videos has like 60,000 views or something, which is not a lot, but it's a lot for me. And I have 164 subscribers or something, but that doesn't matter because none of those subscribers watch my videos. But I had that to start with, and I've been on the other You know the story of me, if you've been following, which you haven't. So, I uh, have decided, and uh, I've calculated this over years, that it's better to um, have have a have a nice chunk. You wanna you wanna have the foundation in place before you start promoting, because. If you just start promoting with with one video, sure you might have people come into your channel, but they're only going to see that one video. They're going to see that it has no views or like three views, 
and they're going to turn around and say, no, I don't want any part of this. Because no one wants to subscribe to a channel that's that small, unless it's really good content. Okay. So, now that I have just about 100 episodes and I've been uploading consistently, even though I don't have the views, people will see the effort and the determination and they will make a decision on whether or not they should subscribe and give it a chance. And if the consistency continues, then they will realize this might be worth the subscribe. And so the word starts spreading. People will say this person has less credit than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah. You know, this stuff happens. Word gets out. And that's how I'm going to, that's how, that's a better way to build it. Right? Now that I have something there to people that people can see and understand that this is going to be a regular thing and it might be worth watching. And also, then there's the, the thumbnails at play. There's the, uh, there's a lot involved. Branding it properly. Ah, medicine man. The medicine man, the medicine man. I love the medicine man. Now, now who is the medicine man? Is it Jeremiah Watkins? I don't think so. Oh, what was that all about? Who is Jeremiah Watkins? Can we look up Jeremiah Watkins, please? Oliver! What's your problem, my friend? Oh my gosh, I got to sneeze. So we were talking about Neuralink. Imagine being able to communicate via brain waves. Okay? How exactly does that work? Don't know, but I think that's what's involved in this Neuralink stuff. Oh, it looks like, yeah. It was. Okay. Where am I? Let me open up Jugal Chrome. All right. That's going to be a fun thing to talk about, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Wait, what? Was I looking up Neuralink? What was I going to look up? Fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have had that hoot. It wasn't CBD. <laughs> Uh, what the hell was I gonna look up? Shit. Shit balls. Okay, let's just look up Neuralink. Okay, imagine you are... Where's that website? Let me show you this website first. Oh yeah, I can't scroll with that. Fucking stupid, come on. Uh, is this it? Then, yeah, look, look, here's the website. You see what I'm saying, my friends? This is literally the website right here. It's all you get. You can uh, watch the live stream. Or, wait, this is trippy. If I do this, let's put it right here. And then, oh, it snaps. You can't see what's happening right now, <laughs> but stuff's happening. You can read the paper, which I just clicked on, or you can watch the live stream. I think it's interesting. It's uh, I haven't really explained anything yet, but you got this device in your brain. has to be surgically implanted. I think it has like a USB imp input <laughs> where you can plug shit into your head. Now, when I say communicate via um, brain waves... I don't mean um, like tele telepathy 
signals being transferred to one person to the next, which that might be the case. But the way I picture it is just like you're simply transferring information to the other person, whether it's a, a news article or whatever, even just a sentence that you might want to say. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, wrong, wrong thing. Clicking buttons I shouldn't be. What are you doing, Olive? Sit down. Yeah. That's not even the only aspect of it. Communicating via the brain. Like, you can uh, control whatever can connect Bluetooth-wise. Does that make sense? That's not a word. Oh, I'm Now I'm tired and I'm high. So I definitely can't think. Usually... The weed is a, a nice little boost to put my brain in a, in a direction towards um, proper thought. But it's early in the morning. That was my first hoot of the day. And uh, what was I going to say? And I'm tired. Did I already say that? I don't know. So there's all that combination. I shouldn't be talking about Neuralink then, right? Because uh, I don't know shite about it, all right? I don't know shite. Um, let's move on to Shane Dawson. He's a whoops, fuck's sakes, I opened it again. Keep doing that. Shane Dawson! Let's do this to make things non confusing. Full screen. Thank you! Okay, Shane Dawson. Who is he? You know who he is. We've all talked about that, Mofk. Shane Dawson uh, put out a new documentary recently, and I've mentioned it before. Not this document, but I've mentioned that he's done he did he did he done do documentaries now, and I've also mentioned that Shane is probably one of the smartest creators on the YouTubes. This guy knows what he is doing, and he does it. Uh, so let's let's go let's see here. It's so he did a documentary on um, Eugenia Cooney. Do you know Eugenia? You might not. I actually didn't know who she was. Before this documentary came out, I had no idea who the funk she was. Feng Shui. I need to get a timer for stuff. <laughs> you might be saying, well, why don't you just use your phone? Well, my phone is being used as the camera. That's why. Why don't you use a camera? Well, I had a camera, and I kind of fucked around with it, and now it doesn't work the way it used to. I have other cameras, but they're definitely not anywhere close to the quality that this cell phone is, so I'm using the cell phone. You understand? So shut it. Go to YouTube. Now I'm getting hungry, and I'm starting to get a little paranoid. <laughs> God, that first hoot of the day, I should have took it easy. Should have just took a nice light one, a nice small banunga. There's something else I want to talk about, too, and I'll just write it down here. Shabba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
You see why I'm saying Shane knows what he's doing? It is number one on trending. Okay. Let me zoom in a bit here. It's number one on fucking trending. And it has 16 million views. And it was uploaded... Well, it was uploaded two days ago. 16 million views. And I'm pretty sure this is not his main channel. Let's see. Um, I'll just open up a new tab and do it. Yeah, it's slow. Internet's a bit slow. It's actually not the internet. It's the computer. This... It's not even this computer, okay? This is this is the fast computer. That's the slow computer. But I'm team viewing, okay? Ooh. I'm going to put this in my watch later. Okay, where was I? Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. Where is his fucking main channel? That's not, is this his main channel? It might actually be his main channel. But I thought... I thought the Shane channel was his second channel. Okay. Maybe not. Let's see. Maybe he changed it up. See Shane Dawson TV right here. This is his fucking main channel. And it has less subscribers. And the last time he's uploaded on it was two years ago. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Jesus Christ, I Hate Myself came out four years ago already? Wow. Hmm, it's interesting the turns that Shane constantly fucking takes. It's crazy, my guy. He went from being the skit guy to the food guy. He's had so many transitions. And now he's fucking transitioned from his main channel to his second channel. And his second channel has much, much more subscribers and views than his main channel. It's insane. He really knows what's going on. Anyway, Eugene Cooney, the Coonmeister. <laughs> oh, boy. She is like an insanely nice person. It's kind of kind of makes you wonder if someone's that nice. What's really going on in the Spice Girl world? Oops, I almost spilt my coffee on my keyboard. Mmm. <laughs> Hanukkah, Hanukkah, I love Hanukkah. So anyway, she's like, um, I don't even know what she does on YouTube. She's like a, a gamer, I guess, slash, I don't know, I don't know. I haven't even heard of her until yesterday, because yesterday was when I watched it. But not only that, she's not really, she's more known for her body. Because she is so unbelievably skinny. It's kind of scary. She is... She's like... Um, Shane Dawson mentioned that she looks like a character from a Tim Burton movie. And I 100% agree. Like, in this freeze frame right here, you can't even tell she's that skinny. Okay? But let's just look up a picture of this of this woman. How do you spell her name? Eugene. Oh, look, it's right there. I don't even have to type the whole thing in. Because she's fucking number one on trending right now. Look at an image. Let's see. Yeah. Look at this. Like, you, she's basically a skeleton. Or she was. She's, um... She's doing more rehab. Or she's in rehab right now for eating disorders, but she doesn't want to put a a label on it. So when you're watching the documentary, she doesn't specifically say what's 
going on. Like, look at this. God damn, that is fucking skinny. How can you do anything? How can you do anything? You know what I find interesting? People can just... People can just... People can... Um, I love being high. People can determine what other people are going to have to talk about online just by becoming number one on trending. Because you, you know, as a, as a YouTuber, you have to play the YouTube game. And I'm still a beginner. I'm not anything special. But what I do know is that the game needs to be played. Not always. I mean, well, you always have to play the game, but not always to the rules of the game. You can change it up. But there are times where you can't avoid what may be number one on trending or just something that's gone viral. If it's that big, you pretty well have to mention it you don't have to you definitely don't have to you can become the guy that is known for avoiding anything that's mainstream but you know if you are a popular channel and you talk about that thing that happens to be on the number one trending list and you include it in the thumbnail and you um, put it in the title, you're going to get, you're going to get a lot of views. <laughs> and it's hard to turn down that revenue. You know what I'm saying? So it happens every once in a while. So what I'm saying is Shane Dawson, man, I'm hungry. Shane Dawson. I was just going to make a joke about Eugene uh, Cooney about being hungry, <laughs> but I changed my mind. So Shane Dawson is determining what I'm talking about right now. I'm not a popular YouTuber. I'm just saying. But you know that it's he's going to be mentioned other other places by other YouTubers. He won't be mentioned by, like, uh, Chris D'Elia or Joe Rogan or any of them. They probably don't even know who Shane Dawson is, to be honest, it, which is crazy to think. That Shane Dawson has 22 million subscribers on one channel and like 8 million on the other. And then I think he has another channel. Who knows how many subscribers that one has. Let's take a look. Ah, who cares? But not only that, but he gets views on top of views that aren't even from his subscribers. So the guy is known. Very well known. But... Pretty well only known if you're a, a, a true YouTuber who pays attention to, to people like this. He's not known outside of YouTube. So people that don't watch YouTube on a regular basis, community style, they don't even know who Shane Dawson is, which is crazy. The guy is super popular, but a lot of people don't know who he is. And you got old people who will see articles in the news about people like Shane Dawson. And they'll say, well, who is this? Who is this young whippersnapper? I haven't heard of this guy. Huh? And, um... I don't know what my point is, but that's just what I'm saying. Shane Dawson. Shane Dudson. Determined my episode for this week well there's three this week i've been you know what i've been thinking about i've been thinking about switching my channel from three episodes a week to two episodes a week so that i can put more time into editing it 
the way I would like to see it. Because right now, I'm I am editing it, but I'm use I only have access to a program that I hate editing with. I cannot afford to purchase the one I would like to use. So, but I do still have access to Adobe After Effects. Now, but I'm not going to use that for this, though. There's no way. After Effects is, you know, you can edit this in there, but it's, it's designed for, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. It's designed for special effects like CGI crap, which I have like little to no experience with. I only messed with Adobe After Effects briefly. I'll give you an example of, of what I used Adobe After Effects for. Let me just let me just find it here on the YouTube's. Get rid of Eugenia Cooney. I was eating last night while watching her. This is gonna sound really bad, but like I had to stop eating because I don't know. It just it bothered me how skinny she was. <laughs> okay. Well, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I gotta show you my example. Of, uh, of, uh, my, my experience with <sighs> After Effects. So let me find the video here. Let me just do a quick little searchy search. Okay. Yes, here we go. Okay, let me see here. Which one do I want to do? It doesn't really matter. So seven years ago, I was in grade 10, I guess. And I... Okay, pause it for a second. Is this even, does this even have... A, okay, does it? Yeah, it does. So I was in grade 7. Think about that. Seven years ago... I still had this computer over here, so that's why this is so slow now, because it's old. It's old as the hills. Anyway, damn, I can't believe I did a Let's Rant in grade... Well, no, that makes sense. Okay, so anyway. Uh, wow, a long time ago, back in my beginning years of YouTube, I had this little epiphany moment. And if I would have stuck with it, I could have made it into something great, but I didn't. But anyway, I had this little epiphany moment while I was watching a Shea Carl video at like 12 in the morning. Uh, he was saying something inspiring, as he usually does. And... And this was way before anybody knew that Shea Carl even drank alcohol. Like Shay Carl was, he, you know, he was, he was the, he was a, he's, you know, he is a Mormon. But that really wasn't even known then either. But anyway, he was just, he was so positive, and he had the family relationship, and everything was fantastic. And he never showed him drinking alcohol on camera. He never even mentioned it. Not even no smoking, no nothing. And then he had like a lot of controversy one one year. And that was like only a few years ago. And now I don't know what he's doing. I think he's got a beehive or something. I'm serious. I think he's got a bee farm. Anyway, I had this epiphany moment after what he said, and I was like, I have to make this series. This is this is going to get me going and I didn't stick with it I did not I did a few episodes of it but I didn't stick with it and if I would have 
I could have made it into something, but that's fine. There's failures in life, and I was young, all right? I didn't understand what it really means to not give up on something and how beneficial it can be and how much I would have learned by just sticking to it, okay? But, uh, so, it's called. it was called Let's Rant. I wanted to make a show... Um, you know, where I would just rant about whatever topic and I'd make it funny. I'd have little editing stuff in there. So this, 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 what I'm about to show you is an example of when I brought the show back after I moved to Alberta because I stopped it for a while. And then when I moved to Alberta, I brought it back and I brought it back during, uh, October so I called these episode I called every episode during October Rotten Rants cuz it was um Halloween themed. So anyway, the intro I designed with Adobe After Effects. Now it's super basic and it's pretty well garbage to today's standards. Ah. And I was only 14 years old, 15 probably maybe. So I don't, I didn't have any experience with this stuff. So this is what it was. Okay, well that's just my t-shirt. Showtime! I don't even know where that shirt went. So here it is. Let's rant. Justin Pitchuk. Let's go. Wa-bam! And this is royalty-free music. We'll get into that in a second. Oh, look at that hair. Oh, yes. Look at that fucking hair. Okay, that's enough of that. So. That's that. Now, let's talk about royalty-free music for a second. Just for a second. Just for a second. Whoops. Just for a second. So last episode, if you've seen it, I was, um, I was, I was like doing a, oops, I gotta grab that. Ah, you moved the table again, you fuck. Gosh. God damn it, I So, oh, now I don't even know if it's straight or anything, gosh. So last episode I did a little commentary on a slightly documentary that I made at a younger age, like 13, 14, 12, I don't remember. And so I mentioned that the entire documentary has the soundtrack of Tokyo Drift, from Tokyo Drift. Pretty well, every song you hear in that movie is in my documentary <laughs> that I made when I was 14. Um, and I explained why. I'm not going to explain it again. And I told myself, shit, I forgot about this. And I uploaded the video with the knowledge that it's probably going to get claimed for the music. Um, and... Guess what? It did. Pretty well instantaneously. <laughs> as soon as it was uploaded, it was claimed. That, whatever program they're using to detect this copyrighted music, is fantastic. Now, I agree with that. I shouldn't use other people's music in my videos, obviously. But when I knew it was happening, I turned the music down so you could barely hear it. And when you could hear it, I only played like less than 20 seconds of it. And you could still barely hear it. But it got it anyway. Um, but I remember back in the day, YouTube, you could get away with 30 seconds or less. If it was less than 30 seconds, it wasn't even detected. Um, but even if it was more than 30 seconds... You could go years without the fucking 
algorithm to find it or whatever finds it like literally back on my old channel that one that got uh deleted or banned or what or whatever removed all my videos had copyright music on it and nothing ever happened because that's how it was back then but it's changed a lot you got to be very careful with the music especially with i wonder how long it's going to be before they start uh claiming your video even if you show like a picture or a video from someone else then you got to format everything differently like if you explain you're a, a news channel then can you have the permission to use that stuff? Or is it just going to be you got to get permission for anything you use? Man, I don't know. Hard to say. I hope not. Wow, that tea is freezing cold. What the hell happened? It was warm a second ago. Whoop. So the Lion King came out. The Lion King. He's the king of the lion. He's the lion of kings. Ah, uh, yeah. He's the king of the lions. I swear that he's not really lying. He's a lion. Lion King. The live action remake. With Beyonce. Danny Glover. Or is it Danny? Uh oh. Don't get it wrong. It's probably not even Danny Glover, is it? It's the other Glover. Yep, yeah, see? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Who's the other Glover? What the fuck is his name? Can't remember. Childish Gambino. God, that's going to seem... That's going to... Oh. Wait. Donald. Let's see. Their names sound too f f similar. Okay. They have the exact same last name. Yeah, I'll get them confused. Fuck you. It's not racist. Uh, Who else was in it? Seth Rogen. Uh, Billy... Whatever the fuck his last name is. Can't pronounce it. That guy's fun. Funny. Haven't seen the movie. To be honest. I don't even... It's. I haven't seen the original Lion King since... I don't know. Probably since it came out. So I don't... I barely even remember what it's about. I barely even know what it's about. But everyone's talking about it, so I'm just going to mention it. I'm going to put a lion in my fucking thumbnail. And I'm going to put Eugenia Cooney and Shane Dawson. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Uh, I want to touch on Area 51 for a little slight second. Uh... Carry me home. Um, so we all know that there is a Facebook group. Let me just go to it. I, I, you know what? I don't use Facebook. I haven't used Facebook in fucking months. And I love it. I can't stand Facebook. What is this, Facebook? What are you doing? What's going on? No, uh, no, it went black. Okay, what was I going to do? Olive, why'd you fart? Oh, I fucking hate your farts. They are the worst. What the fuck was I going to do? Oh, yeah. The Area 51. Area 51. I want to see how many... How many fucking... Oh, I'm going? I'm going! 
Uh, I want to see how many people are going. So there's 1.8 million going, and there's 1.3 million interested. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Why did I want to bring? Oh yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it up. So Ethan from H three H three H three H three H three talked about this, and Michael McCrudden from before they were famous. Uh, he said he's driving down to Nevada. I think he's actually going to Los Angeles. Or is he going to Nevada? I don't know. But he's passing by Area 51. Either way. He has to go through Nevada. Wherever he's going. And he said if he gets enough DMs on Instagram or Twitter or something, he's going to go there. By himself. Now, I don't think he will. I think... If he gets enough direct messages, he will, I think he'll get close. He'll try to get as close as he can, but he's either going to get kicked out right away, he's going to get shot, or he's just going to barely get anywhere close to it that it's not even going to be a good video. Or he's going to, he's got some, something planned that's going to be shocking. Or that's going to be uh, out of the ordinary. But uh, I want to touch on what Ethan was talking about. He was he was uh, denying, and, e and Elo was denying it as well. They were both denying that aliens are there. And they... I don't even remember what I wanted to touch on, but fuck it. I'm not going to talk about it. Go watch the H3 podcast where he talks about this stuff. And decide for yourself. So, there's one last thing I want to talk about before we... Um, Go do some Reddit. Wake up in the morning. So there was something uh, trending in the moment section of Twitter. And the, the title, the headline reads, Peppa Pig's height is a cause of concern for some. Confused face emoji? So, Peppa Pig is a cartoon on the television. Don't know what network, but I know it's been seen on Treehouse. It's a child's show. And apparently the height of this imaginary pig is cause for concern. Let's take a look at this pig, shall we? Let me just start up the old rumble device. It's like we're using Windows 95 again. You gotta wait for the dial-up to connect before you can see the image. So here we go. Here we go, folks. So a pe this is Peppa Pig right here. This ugly looking monster. Whoops. Okay. That is a fucked up looking pig if I ever seen one. It's almost, it's almost got the shape of a dick. I just noticed that. You see, here's like the tip of the penis, and it has two penis holes. Here's the chody shaft, and he's got big balls. Oh, you can't even see my mouse, can you? The screen capture device I'm using does not show my mouse. But if you look at this pig's face, you can see what I'm talking about. The tip of his nose where his nostrils are, that is the tip of the penis. Two penis holes. Uh, his snout, which attaches to his forehead, that's the shaft. 
and then his chin and the rest of his face is the balls. That is a penis, my friend. Or a whistle, but it looks more like a penis because it's pink. Apparently this fat pig is seven feet one inch. That's pretty tall for a pig. Especially this pig. Imagine seeing this pig in real life. I think that's what the concern is. That pig is too high for what it looks like. And the pig is only like 10 years old. It's a child. So if we keep going. This seven one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Pepe Pig is the same size as Shaq. That's a tall pig. Uh, there's something here, yeah, 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 yeah. Shackity boopity. But then there, then there's this. If you look on Google, Google, it tells you seven foot one inch. But then you go to this uh, fandom page. And it says Peppa's height is three feet nine inches. And then here it says the pig the mummy pig had a house to protect it, blah 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 blah. Peppa's height is nine feet seven inches. It's the same website, two different answers. Y'all scared of Peppa, but we don't know Daddy Pig's height. So what is the actual height of this pig? But I don't I, I don't even care about that cuz I went to this website, okay? This is a child show by the way. I went to this website to to do a little in-depth look on what's going on here. And I found this little blurb on the fan site. Can you see what that says? Let me zoom in. Can you see it now? Can you see what I've highlighted? This is on the Peppa fan fanon dot fandom dot com Wikipedia page. This is a children's show. This is for children under the age of eight. And this pig has an involvement. Oops. With Isis. With is is. Let's read it. Peppa was upset about all the infidels roaming the streets of her glorious homeland. Where does this pig live? So she decided to look for a solution. She then discovers the terrorist organization is is. And she realized it was filled with like-minded people. Since then, Peppa now has over 672 confirmed kills and has stanky legged on everyone. <laughs> what? I couldn't believe the shit. Why are we talking about this? Fuck the height. This pig is in ISIS. <laughs> what? I don't understand. I mean, obviously that's not true. There's no way. But why is it there? How did it get there? And why is it still there? Obviously, all these people are going to this website right now because it's trending on Twitter. So why haven't they... What? Why is it there? Why is it there? And it's not like... When I first saw this, I thought, okay, this doesn't make any sense, obviously. But I didn't think it was going to go in the direction of Pepe, Peppa thinking that ISIS is a like-minded 
terrorist organization and join it. I thought it would have went in the direction of the pig fought against ISIS and killed the ISIS members, but no. She uh, she likes what ISIS has done. This is weird. Holy fuck, I just noticed something else. Is this like a fucking parody website or something? Hold on. We got the family of Pepe. Peppa. We got Mama Pig, Daddy Pig. Grandparents. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. Siblongs. George Pig, Lola Pig. Okay. Spouse. Whoops. Louis Pig. And Pedro Pony. So we got some uh, interspecies bestiality going on. And then we got the children. Osama Bin Laden and Adolf Hitler. Pets? Goldie the fish. Uh, first appearance, Muddy Puddles. First mentioning, World War II. Last appearance, Endgame. What the fuck? Voice actor, Danny DeVito. What is going on? This... I don't understand. She, uh, she often fancies jumping in muddy, muddy puddles. What else is going on with this pig? Snorting. Peppa snorts at the beginning, the middle, and the end of every episode. Okay. Oh, MLG Peppa. Peppa is seen with a single Doritos chip, a can of Mountain Dew in her hand, an air horn on her snout, and sunglasses. The description for this ep outfit is Peppa is MLG and knows how to wreck new nubs. Why doesn't it show the naughty girl dress? Changing Peppa's age to a child in April Ravine, the video game's character files will cause game corruption. What is this show? Is this a child's show? Maybe it's not. I thought it was. No, it is. It most definitely is. Okay. I think that's enough Pepe. Peppa. Pepla. Peplar for me. Uh, so why don't we jump into Reddit? Actually, before we do that. Um, I've been fiddling with this the whole episode. You may have noticed. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Take a look. Olive, get down for a sec. Get down. Down, down, down. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a keychain. Okay. You got a little snake. The snake is the, is the round part that looks like a, a chain link. That's a snake, okay? And there's a... What is that noise? There, okay, there's a... there's a, Like a star trapped inside of here, okay? It's a puzzle. You got to get this star out of here. And it's, you know... It looks easy, but it's not. It's not easy at all. 
So I have a bunch of these puzzles, actually. They're not anywhere near me right now. They're in a different room. But I wanted to bring these up because I just want to mention a YouTuber that I've been kind of addicted to recently. I've mentioned him before, and I'm going to mention him again. Let me just pull up his page here. His name is uh, Chris Ramsey. He's Gordon Ramsey's son. Just kidding. Uh, he's he's a magician from I don't know somewhere in Ontario, probably Toronto, maybe Oshawa. I don't know. Anyway, let's. Uh, and he not only does he does this do crazy magic stuff. He solves a lot of, fuck's sakes, puzzles. Solves a lot of puzzles like these ones. But this is a simple one compared to the shit that he does. He solves puzzles that are very complicated. Oh my god, I just did it. What the fuck? <laughs> Look! I wasn't even looking! Whoa! I'm so glad that happened on camera. What? What? Oh my Jesus. How did I do that? <laughs> Woo! Woo, baby! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I like your gravy. Just got to write something down here. I can't believe that just happened. Now I can't get it back. See, so you gotta be able to get it out and then get it back in. I don't even know how I got it out though. I wasn't looking, you saw. I had it up here and I was just fiddling and then it fell out. <laughs> that is, wow, that was a juicy moment. That was my first juicy moment on this podcast. You don't, you know what a juicy moment is? When you're filming and something completely unexpected happens, but it was so perfectly perfect that you couldn't have asked for anything better. Those are the moments that you won't get unless you consistently upload. And this was my first one. <gasps> Folks, I got it back in. Ta da! I just solved the puzzle. Beat that, Chris Ramsey. So, this is Chris Ramsey. Uh, he makes shite like this, makes videos like this. Look at this, Bobby Lee talking with Chris D'Elia six years ago. I wish he still did stuff like that, because those were funny. Anyway, let's just do a quick Yo, little... what's going on, guys, and welcome back. Guys, welcome back to Puzzle Wednesday. That's right, we've now created a schedule. After Puzzle Wednesday! uploading on this channel, we now have a schedule. We finally put on some big boy pants and become an adult. Only thing that that means is you're getting regularly uploaded content each Monday, Wednesday, and probably Friday. Ah, shit! But if it's not Friday, it'll be Saturday. Or Saturday. Ah, shit! Monday, we got magic content, which includes cardistry, which includes tutorials, performances, tips, all that stuff on magic. Wednesday, we are going to be solving a new and exciting puzzle every week for the weekend. So either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you're going to get another video. Okay, so Chris, let's get to the puzzle, video. please. It could sometimes be another puzzle video. It could be a vlog. It could be a okay, so he does these cool game. intros. It is ridiculously well engineered. Every video, but he usually doesn't talk over it like this. Metal sphere. It's a heavy metal sphere. Ring. 
And then the rest is like an overhead shot of him trying to solve this puzzle. They all have to be equal, says he. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna disable quick, quick team viewer. I don't need it anymore. Boppity-boopity, am I right? Anyway, you get the idea. I don't need to show his video. You get the idea. Let's go to Reddit, please. Thank you. I can't believe I solved this puzzle. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to feel what I did here. Ba 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 Sonova. Okay, if you do that, then 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 do that. If you do this, then you gotta do that. But if you do this, then you gotta do that. Right? See, now I'm never gonna get it. This is a puzzle that's better solved by not looking at it. Ah. Welcome to Reddit, ladies and f f fallopian tubes. Look at Batman's tan lines. That is interesting. That is interesting. Here's a chant. Here's a subreddit called "I'm Sorry, John." It's a creepy Garfield, creepy crap. <laughs> you want to see it? What's this? Where on earth did you find Pookie? I can't believe how long it has been. Thank you, Odie. I miss him too. Ba 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 ba. John Arbuckle's dead. It's the alt alternative universe, alternate universe. Of evil Garfield. Cat with small legs. That is an absolute unit right there. That's a big doggy. Karen wants to speak to the manager. Employee. Messes up order. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Let me fix it. Please. No. Roman numerals still very effective. Ah, but that's not five though. That it's just the V. Isn't there supposed to be a a line next to it? New fridge inspector. Okay, come on, give me something good here. We all knew the moon landing was staged. It was filmed by Stanley Kubrick. However. It cost an insane amount of money as Kubrick was a perfectionist and demanded the film on on a man, uh, demanded they film on location. Okay, yeah, you're gonna whoosh, then give me a better whoosh than that. Real life Patrick. Oh my god, that's Patrick. Look at his butt. That is one hundred percent Patrick Starr. Give it a thumb, give it an upvote. Same size ass, too. Yep, that's right. Have you seen the Cats trailer? Because I haven't. Hold on. Stop the video, please! Stop the video! You hit pause and it plays! Trying to full screen this bitch. Get him splashed. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Snap. Oh, snap. I thought someone was going to get splashed. You know, this says why were they filming, okay? And I understand 
why were they filming? But there's no way this was faked, right? So why were they filming? Gosh! Stop it! God, he tracked it flawlessly. Yeah, he did. How did he know it was gonna happen, though? Right? A lot of people see these videos and they don't ask those questions. How did he know to start filming that shit? Maybe he just anticipated a crash was gonna happen because it was rainy and that guy was maybe driving recklessly. I have the coffee on! I'd have the coffee on, but it still goes to the screensaver. It's not what the coffee is meant for. We got a bird here playing a bongo drum. Would you like to listen? He's pretty good. That's a good song, my friend. X and Y in the alphabet, X and Y in math. Great meme. Oh, that, I want that's a nice pin. Two bikini bottom memes in a row. Have you seen this episode? I really wish I weren't here right now. But yes, I have to go. Zap, 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 beep, boop, bop, bop, schnick, goop, la, gape. Mr. Beast made a video yesterday or the day before where he shot cannons. And the title was, Can 50,000 Magnets Stop a Cannonball? Good video concept. Very clickbait title, though. Because the magnets he used were fridge magnets. I stopped the video once I found that out. Ida showing us how she's killing the fat bird outside. Oh, she's making noises. Yes, I don't want to watch this. Puppy zoomies. Let's see the full image, please. Oh. That's up. Why is that there? Waking a deaf puppy. Let him sniff your pussy. Did you see that? She stuck her fingers in her vag and put them up to the dog's nose. No one noticed it, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yes, that's a dog, I see. To catch a criminal. What's he going to do? This is fake. No one runs around like that. This is fake. This is fake. It's fake. It's fake. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. No one would do that. If you were really chased by that many SWAT people, there's no way you would just stand there and put a piece of whatever that was, over your face and think you were hidden. Doesn't matter how stupid you are. But maybe it is real, but I don't think it is. And here's another reason why I don't think it is. Watch how the guy runs around the room. He runs like... like a fucking character from a movie, you know? Like, um, like Buster Keaton or something. He's running around comically. Look how he runs. Watch. No one does that. And look at this part right here. He does like the double glance and then... <laughs> it just doesn't seem... 
It just doesn't seem real. What? Oh, this is a crash? Oh my Jesus. Approaching minimums. Minimums. I didn't know planes had windshield wipers. Sink rate. Sink rate. Oh god. Flight slow. Flight slow. Sink rate. Sink rate. Flight slow. This is crazy. One hundred. Flight slow. Flight slow. Sink rate. Oh! Oh my god! That is terrifying. What do the comments have to say about this? It was due to pilot error negligence. They were short of the runway. Only, okay, of the 12 crew and 35 passengers, 46 of the 47 survived, 6 sustained injuries, and 9 were sent to the hospital. The deceased was a male passenger who was later found dead by rescue divers. Howly moly, schmowly scowly. Yeah, why did they disregard the fucking messages that the machine was telling them? Are they stupid? Or are they just pooped? If it says made with memetic, then it is no longer a funny meme. Dude, it literally says made with memetic. Whoosh! Ah, Nikkei, Adibus, Adiabs. <laughs> that is an ugly shoe. Lightning striking simultaneously on Chicago's, Chicago's three tallest buildings. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Let's watch this maybe, maybe, maybe. To dog, we've seen this before. I don't want to watch that. Yeah, roaster. Yeah, it's a cat. Ooh la la. That one dude at every wedding starter pack. Mhm. Mm yeah. Uh, ran into Ian the intern. What? Oh. Okay. For some reason, I thought Ian was the person with the orange hair that is definitely Ian he's wearing Teddy Fresh I wonder if he banged that girl off <laughs> finger brushy homeless guy taking it to another level help our planet I can't even read what that says hold on Let's full screen it. Oh, I didn't get to say it! Help your planet. Help your neighbor. You will feel better. Help yourself. You deserve it. Try to love yourself. You deserve it. That's pretty cool, actually. What does that first one say? Try to love ganja or something? Try to love ganja? Hmm. Try to love ganja! People are saying he deserves a job at this point. I mean... Sure, give him a job. Why not? Give him a job! Give him a job. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Try and take a picture posing with the burbs. Yeah, you're going to get shit on. 
My friend took a photo of this van, and it somehow looks like a toy. Whoa. It does. That is so weird. I keep thinking. I figured out why it looks like a toy. But the moment I try to focus on the thought, it disappears. I can see the size of the people in comparison to the van. But my mind just can't comprehend that they're like real people because I'm so sure the van is a toy. The tree is huge and the poles of the roof tent looking thing like the legs of the swing set making the swing set appear huge making the van appear tinny. Fuck off computer stop going to sleep I got the fucking coffee on. Uh, I saw this. Yeah, it is. I don't understand it. It's confusing. Lions failing to eat a hippo. That's frightening. Screen powered microwave? Let's watch this and then that's where we'll end this. I make one! I make one video about how bad your robot ideas are, and you're also funny and silly and quirky that you fucking inundate. You're gonna say, Michael, you didn't let anyone else test it out. You're you should and feel you bad. Okay, yeah, it's a, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I know who he is. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. Best bit is bottom in the... How to survive a... A roller coaster crash. Oh, a rollover. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought it said roller coaster. I have dyslexia, okay? What the fuck? There's a frog. <laughs> Can we see that again, please? Oh my. This is not safe for work. So, uh, I'll look at it, but you won't. Ah! It wasn't that crazy. Okay, you know what, folks? I don't want to watch that lion eat that baby. Come on. Holy fuck, that backflip, though. I don't like saying that. Listen, everyone. Kay, you understand? We're done here. All right? This is the end of the podcast. This is the end of the episode. I solved the puzzle without even realizing what I did. We talked about Eugenia Cooney. We talked about... Shane Dawson and Neuralink and The Lion King and Area 51 and Michael McCrudden and a little bit of H3 and how my podcast got fucking claimed and Chris Ramsey. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Van Dus. Oh, Martin! There's Martin! <laughs> he couldn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. If you don't like chicken, then you don't like China. If you don't like chicken, then you don't like Chinese food.